The clearance sales are only beginning at FedMart's 46 stores throughout the Southwest, and within a few short weeks, what used to be one of America's most aggressive retailers will be a low-keyed land office. Meanwhile, across the street here in San Diego, stores opened by FedMart's own founder are quietly booming with prosperity, filled with many former FedMart clerks and customers. But the Price Club has no interest in scooping up any of FedMart's sites or filling its void in retailing. Not only would its namesake not be offered the chance, he wouldn't want to make the same mistakes as Hugo Mann. According to Saul Price, problems such as high interest rates and costly labor weren't half the story of FedMart's downfall. In his view, it was Mann himself. He absolutely... Uh, assumed that what he got, what he did in Germany was transferable in detail to this country. That the way he treated employees in Germany he could treat them here. The way he put his merchandise on the shelf he could do here. That all of that he he, he assumed. But then he had one other terrible failing, and that was that he was a terribly suspicious man. Price says FedMart's operations took on the trappings of an atomic energy lab, with employees muzzled and the news media unwelcome on the premises. He estimates Mon poured $100 million into the venture, starting with a $25 million buyout, of which Price got about 13%. Certainly there were big tax write-offs, but Mon once said he just wanted to get his money out of a socialist-leaning German I don't economy. Believe, I don't believe that he, that that was his real reason. No, I think he was on an ego trip. I think he was on an ego trip. I think he figured he was going to become the retailing giant in the world. Price says he has mixed feelings about the collapse, mainly because it's more of a blow to Mon's pride than his pocketbook. And the unfortunate part of it is that economically, I don't think Hugo Mon is going to lose. He's got valuable real estate. Well, the people who gave their lives to that company are going to lose. And that's sad. Gene Cubison, News 8.